Hi guys, so today's video is all about my current favorite lip products, everything from liners to lipsticks and glosses, and even a newer type of product that I have been loving lately. Um, well, it's new to me anyway. So before I get started with all that, I wanted to show you a little tip for storing your lip products, whether it be glosses or lipsticks. This is kind of, it's nothing fancy, it's just what I've been doing lately, and I wanted to show you guys. I am in the process of reorganizing all my makeup, so once I finish that, there will be an updated makeup collection organization video coming your way. Previously I was keeping all of my lip products in my acrylic case for Muji and that got to be a little problematic with the lip glosses because not all of them but a few of the brands would actually leak because they were being stored horizontally and after cleaning that up about five times I was like okay maybe I should learn from this and come up with a different way to store them so I didn't want to go out and purchase new organizations so I just went downstairs and grabbed these little candle holders off of my coffee table these are little votive holders from Pottery Barn I got these a few years ago and these are actually made out of mercury glass really really pretty on top of my vanity because it adds a little bit of shine and sparkle without being gaudy or you know over the top or anything I mean chances are you probably have something like this around your house as it is it might not be made out of you know this type of material but whatever you like whatever is your style you can totally just use like a candle holder like that to hold your your lip products the one thing I did discover is that these are a little tall, so I actually just left the candle down in here, and that way, I actually left the little candle in here and just flipped it upside down, and then that way it becomes like the perfect height, and the tubes of gloss peek out above the top of the cup, and you can see what you're working with and what colors you have and stuff. So as far as lip liners go, I think that Rimmel is my personal favorite brand for that product just because they have every single color you could ever really want and they're really inexpensive. So my top three are, this one is Natural and this one is East End Snob and then this is a darker color. This is called Rapture. If I only had these three, I would still be pretty much set because I can create a wide variety of looks with just these three colors. So this is natural. This is your basic nude color. East End Snob is a really great basic pink that will match pretty much any pink lip color you can think of. And then Rapture is amazing for layering it underneath a red lipstick. I'm wearing this lip liner today underneath NARS Red Lizard lipstick. And um, it also works really great for darker like burgundy colors too. And as I just mentioned, I am wearing NARS Red Lizard today. And this is just the perfect red. It's my favorite red lipstick. It's just an amazing, iconic color. It's super glamorous and I just love, I love everything about it. It's definitely a matte. Also have to mention my YSL Rouge Volupt lipstick in number one nude beige. This is probably my number one favorite lipstick of any color of all time. I love the packaging. I love the lipstick itself, the formula, the shade is perfect. This is the perfect neutral pink. Um, it's like a chameleon lip color. It looks great no matter what you pair it with, regardless of the eye color or the eyeshadows you're doing or the blush color or lip gloss or anything. It just looks good with everything. The other thing that I like about this is you can use the packaging as a mirror to apply it. And also it has a little bit of shine to it and it has a really nice pleasant scent. It almost kind of smells like watermelon. So one of my go-to looks when it comes to lip color is a very pale, cool pink. And I, I like that because I think it gives off that really ultra feminine vibe. And I love MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Cream Cup for getting that look. And this is probably one of the first colors from MAC, one of the first lip products that I ever purchased. And I still love it today. It's an amazing color. It's like that perfect level of pale, pink where it's not washing you out, you don't look dead, but um, it's still like light. Another one is the Revlon. This is the color or the super lustrous lipstick in number two pink pout and this is a matte color this one is so pretty and if you pair it with a really like a dark sultry smoky eye it kind of gives off that retro look kind of like a bardot type lip color so I really like this one a lot this next lipstick is more of a recent find but I'd heard so many good things about it so when I finally tracked it down I was really excited to try it out and um, definitely lived up to its reputation so this is the Rimmel lipstick in airy fairy and this is a color that I would say it's like a darker it's not really dark but it's a nude but it has some peachy pink tones too so it's not a really really light nude color but depending on your skin tone it could show up a little bit lighter on you so on me it's more of a peachy pink and it's just a really nice 
color. It's just very, very flattering. This is definitely one of those colors that would give you a bit of a different look depending on your skin tone. It could look like a totally different color. So I think this is a really cool one. Okay, so moving on to lip glosses. I'm gonna try to fly through these because I have a lot to show you. The first one is really the only peach gloss I have to show you. This is like a true peach color. This is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in Bellini. This one is like the ultimate layering gloss because it's really pigmented. It has that creamy almost opaque look to it so it's definitely not sheer by any means it really changes the color of any type of lipstick you're wearing underneath it um, definitely adds a lot of fullness to your lips if you just apply it right in the center it's one of those glosses that looks its best paired with other colors and it's just a gorgeous one I love it so much and this is the Bonnie Bell lip lights in strawberry parfait and it smells exactly like a strawberry parfait it smells so good um, it's a really pale cool pink color and it's definitely I would say does the same type of thing as NARS Turkish Delight it gives you that perfect nude lip it adds shine and it's super pigmented especially for like a two or three dollar gloss smells amazing it doesn't last a super long time because it is fairly inexpensive but I don't really mind that because I, I like reapplying lip glosses and stuff and this one smells so good that you kind of want to keep reapplying it anyway so this is a really really good one and I have two NYX colors I wanted to show you this first one is probably one of the standout products that I discovered all year this is the NYX Mega Shine lip gloss in perfect this one is really what I had hoped the NARS lip gloss and orgasm was when I purchased it much to my dismay it turned out to be a weird metallic shimmery shade this one on the other hand is the perfect peachy pink lip gloss it's amazing I am never without this color I take it with me everywhere I go and it's just the most gorgeous color day night doesn't matter it's just amazing it has this really pretty golden shimmer it's definitely like a warmer color but it just makes your entire face just kind of come come alive like it just looks so so pretty and it's interesting because it's a sheer gloss typically I'm not too much a fan of sheer glosses I have very very pale lips naturally so they just don't show up this one is sheer so it doesn't look creamy or anything but the color still shows through so well like you can definitely tell when you've applied this big shout out to NYX thank you for making this <laughs> the next color is another uh, NYX gloss. This is interesting because it's actually called the name of this one is beige But to me, it's a pink. I don't get it, but the color is beautiful. It's super creamy. So unlike the The lip gloss in perfect this one is very very creamy super super opaque and um, This one is almost like a liquid lipstick You don't need to pair it with other things to get the color to really show up because it's just such a nice shade It's like a neutral pink, but it has some brightness to it as well So as soon as you apply it just changes the entire look of your face much like this one But it's a different type of color another one of those chameleon type of colors It looks amazing with everything so and the last products that I wanted to show you guys It's kind of funny because they're actually lip balms, but they're not your traditional lip balms They're definitely kind of a newer type of product that I've been seeing a lot of brands coming out with and they're these almost like ultra creamy really highly pigmented and hydrating lip balms and I love them so much um, in the past I've overlooked products like this because I always thought if it had some kind of color payoff It's probably not moisturizing and if it is moisturizing the color probably doesn't show up not with these These are like the best of both worlds and my favorite brands that I've noticed coming out with these type of products are Burt's Bees and NYX so I really like the Burt's Bees tinted lip balms and I've had the honeysuckle shade for a while now This is a really pretty. It's almost like a nude color it's so so gorgeous it's like an apricot color and it looks just as nice as applying a nude lipstick so it looks really really pretty and then they've actually recently added some colors to their line of lip balms and they added a lot of new colors but this one is called petunia and I love this one because it's like a really pale pink it's so pretty so feminine such a light girly type of color this is the NYX color lip balm and I got this for free with a purchase from Ulta not too long ago and when I first got it I was like oh, okay you know it's free whatever <laughs> but I actually really like this a lot this is the color Asante and it actually is a little bit different than the Burt's Bees ones the Burt's Bees products are a little bit shinier this one is more of like almost a stain 
but it's this beautiful, really pretty pink. I didn't really expect to include a product like this in this video, but I don't know, I've just been so excited about these. I think these are really, really cool. So that does it for all of my current favorite lip products. I think I'll go through and just really quickly show you what I'm wearing. This is actually a mango sweater. This is like a geometric print sweater. I love this. It's really oversized, actually, which you probably can't tell from just watching this video from here up, but I really like it because it's super cozy and comfortable, and um, I really like this whole geo print trend. Besides that, I have Charming Charlie earrings and a ring and my Melody Asani ID bracelet, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.